Hello and welcome to Aboriginal Studies. This is a short video that will outline how to do very well in this course. It is designed uh, to show you the layout and some of the key policies that you need to be aware of before you begin. The first step uh, is actually seeing how the modules are laid out for you. Most of them will follow a very similar format of read the small section from the textbook, uh, answer the questions, watch a cool video, answer the questions, read an article, answer the questions. Sounds simple, but actually do that work and you will have a hard time not doing well in this course. So that's the first part. Do the modules and you will do well. Our AI policy is laid out for you. You'll see it right there. Now, uh, the temptation to use AI, uh, for most of this is going to be what we would consider a red light. And the red light basically indicates don't use it. We don't need you to use it. You don't need to use it. If you actually do the work, which I mentioned earlier, you're going to do really, really well in this course. It is not meant to trick you. It's not meant to, uh, you know, challenge you to the point of, you know, tears. It is simply do the work and you will do well. You do not need to put it through Grammarly or anything else. We just want to know that you know the material. So don't use it uh, for app studies. We, uh, this may surprise you, did not get into education to be AI cops. We're pretty good at finding it. We're pretty good at spotting it. It jumps out of the page when you mark a couple thousand of these modules like we do. So please don't use it. You don't need to use it. You'll do great without it. You'll notice uh, after completing modules one and two that you will see something called a performance task. And there's three performance tasks that get completed, one after module two, one after module four, and one at the very end of the course uh, for each of 10, 20, and 30. These performance tasks are just ways of proof of learning for us. So when you complete the modules, you then have to complete the performance task. The performance task can be either a oral, it can be written, or it can be a uh, short answer questions. So you get your choice of the three. If you'd rather talk about it, that's 100% cool. Here's the topic that we'll give you. You talk to us about it. You show that you understand it. You watched it. Uh, you understand it. You read it. You know it. That's great. The written part will be a question where it asks you to kind of do kind of a written response uh, and get you through there. Kind of similar to what you might do in something like a social studies type course. Uh, and finally, the short answer question will be three short answer questions that will test your knowledge on the two modules. So after the end of modules one and two, you'll have a performance task. This needs to be completed uh, in front of a teacher. There's no tech allowed uh, other than to complete the actual assignment. So you're not gonna have your phone or anything like that. And that's where it comes back to the beginning where if you actually do the work, nobody's trying to trick you on this one. You just need to prove that you watch the video, that you read the articles, that you uh, read that section on the textbook. And uh, I, you have to trust me on this one. If you actually do the work, you will have seen the material. There's no need to study for it. You will know it, okay? So be able to uh, do well on those performance tasks because if you look at the weightings, you will see that the modules are only worth 25%. So you can get uh, a great mark on the modules. That's awesome, and you should. Uh, that should be a, a very high mark for all of you. And then the performance tasks should also be a high mark if you've done the actual work in the modules. Some of you might be tempted, the one or two of you. I know that you might think, you know what? I'm just going to AI all the modules. They'll never catch me and then take my chances on uh, the performance task. And that would be a mistake, my friends, because what it triggers is, hey, if you got 100%, if you look at our assessment policy, if we get 100% uh, on the modules and then somehow manage to get 7% on the performance tasks, one, <laughs> actually do the work and you will do fine. Uh, nobody's trying to trick you on this one. But also remember that our assessment policy allows us to take the uh, performance task mark uh, as the final mark. And we don't want to do that. We want you to get a great mark. Uh, so again, do the work and you will do fine. Finally, at the very end here, uh, you may see this message show up uh, if, uh, depending on which school you're taking this through, um, it is a placeholder. Uh, basically what we're saying is you're not keeping pace with what we've kind of outlined. So you'll see that the mark goes in as a zero and you'll get that message. It is not a final mark in there. It is meant just to say, hey, you haven't been keeping pace. When you actually hand in your work, we will gladly fix it for you. So in short, do the work. You will do awesome in this course. Uh, the performance tasks are not meant to be tricky. Uh, if I can be so bold as to say, maybe um, watch the videos, read the articles, and you will do really, really well on the performance tasks. And remember, it's your choice. Do you wanna do the oral, the written, or the short answer? It's always up to you. You will always have options in this, okay? So 
Good luck with the course. Do the work. You'll do awesome, my friends.